Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge is John Williamson, MBE. Our three judges assigned, all from England, Steve Gray, Dave Paris, and Phil Edwards. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Victor Lachlan of Scotland. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the time has arrived. Live on BT Sports from the SSE Arena here in Belfast, Northern Ireland. This is our main event of the evening. Introducing to you first, Fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing white with the Mexico colors of red, white, and green. And weighed in at nine stone, one pound. His professional record consists of 33 wins, three defeats, one draw, with 24 of his 33 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, Tomas y Caballeros de Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. Presentando Horacio El Violento Garcia. And his opponent across the ring in this main event. He's fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing white, blue, and gold. And weighed in the same as his opponent. Nine stone, one pound. Hailing from right here. Belfast, Northern Ireland. His professional record consists of 23 wins. Just one defeat with 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former Unified World Super Bantamweight Champion and former WBA Super World Featherweight Champion, Carl Fajardo. Okay, Carl, you had your instructions. Remember, I obey my commands at all times. Senor, open the service order and defend dirty siempre. Okay, boys, let's do it. Bueno suerte, caballeros. He's not fought since January, since his loss to Leo Santa Cruz. Now, Frampton is back. Massive night for him, John. It's important he starts well. He gets the crowd behind him. Got to go over that reach and high disadvantage, though. Maybe a little bit of ring rust. We will see the crowd treating him as though he's never been away. They still believe that he can regain the heights. Garcia never stopped in his 37 fights. Frampton against Santa Cruz second time around said the tactics were wrong. The brawler, Santa Cruz, outboxed me, the boxer. Yeah, it was um, a tactic that surprised everyone, wasn't it? From Leo Santa Cruz. No one expected him to box on the outside the way he did. And Carl Frampton just couldn't adapt on that night. He wasn't expecting it and just lost his way in that contest. But not many people predicted the way that Santa Cruz was going to box. Jamie Moore says he's got his sparkle back. He said that he's been a joy to coach. So receptive and so easy to new ideas and so much talent. Oh, great shot. How about that? It was a super punch, wasn't it, from the crouch position, nice left duck. He started quite positively as Frampton with his shots that he's landed. And Garcia chasing shadows at the moment. And really he's opted to sit on the back foot, although he's starting to come forward now, Frampton. Well, he's just taking a look at Garcia, but he's been accurate with his shots up to now as Frampton.
Garcia been a pro since 2008. Bags of experience. But when he's gone up to this sort of level, he's generally been found wanting. And Frampton, of course, belongs to the very, very elite crowd class. Ring Magazine rank him number three in their rankings at this level, and he started with quality shots. Yeah, I think he started the contest well here, Frampton, and he's probably surprised Garcia. Garcia's probably expecting him to come forward and to try and get past that long reach that he's got, Garcia, but Frampton's opted to stay on the outside, pick his shots from distance, and I think that's actually surprised Garcia, so... A good start from Frampton, and again, his timing is good tonight, so far. Garcia does tend to come forward in straight lines, and he's already copped for a few headshots from Frampton. We've just seen there an instance what we don't need from Frampton to hold the feet. That's a lovely straight left. What a shot that was. Doesn't need to be holding his feet against this guy. That's what he's expecting. He's expecting Frampton to hold his feet, trade, and Frampton's got on his back foot. Clever display in this opening round. Great stuff from Frampton, good round. Champs reverberating around the SSE arena. He started fast, Richie. Yeah, it was a tremendous. That was a tremendous left up there from Frampton. Threw it from range as well, didn't he? Tracking shot, the speed and accuracy was there. But there, I mean, you don't call that a jab. That's more like a straight left because it was coming from the right hand first. Like it's a reverse one-two, if anything. And there's another example of it. Right hand goes out first, and then the straight left hand, and that's a that's a belting combination. Don't yeah. change much. Stab him downstairs and set that trap. There's one look down. Come. Give it him, make him know you're going to hold it. Then fucking sneak that right hand over the top of him again. Keep moving, keep moving out. Stop it. Who's sinking it? Who's sinking that gap? Well, they can be pleased with the first three minutes, and no doubting who's taken the 10 9 advantage there. Yeah, good round for Frampton. Definitely very positive indeed with the shots that he's landed from distance. He's opted to box at range. Yeah, clever, clever display in the opening round. You hear Jamie Moore there say that just work to the body with that jab. It's just to take the attention away. See, there's the jab to the body, and the right hand is going to follow fairly shortly afterwards. He's working to the body to the jab, and then he'll throw that, whip that right hand over the top. That's what Jamie was talking about. Atmosphere is unbelievable. Tremendous. If you've never been to Belfast to watch this man in action, it is an experience. He looks in great condition, Garcia. Well, he looked, he looked better on the scales than Frampton yesterday. He's clearly got himself... Absolutely into peak fitness. Yeah, he's prepared well. But whether he's technically adept enough to put Frampton under any real pressure, we will see. Well, I think Garcia's got to keep the punches straight. That's better than that is, yeah. And that's mainly because Frampton's holding his feet, you see, and Garcia will prefer that. Making Garcia fall short with those straight shots and then coming back with the counters, I think, is a is, is worked up to now anyway for Frampton. So much beckons in 2018, where he hopes to regain a world title. The fight he craves, I suspect. We've heard from others, but the one he really wants is Leo Santa Cruz. Yeah, that's the one that's niggling him, isn't it? There's some good bouts out there, isn't there? There's Josh Warrington here, there's Lee Selby, remember? He's a world champion. So there's some great fights to be made. But he's got to get through this first. 
He's managing to get, find the target with one or two body shots in this round, Garcia. Garcia there making the most basic of areas, going back in a straight line onto the ropes. That just invites pressure. And yeah, good work from Frampton. The Irish favourite is going well. Airwaves in a bottle. So you can always keep that kick handy. The eighth state of Christmas, that's such a pain to me. the 12 stains of Christmas with Dettol Finish and Vanish. Available at Savers. Well, here's Gar Garcia. Be careful on his left side, they say. Experienced trainer in Eddie Reynoso. Tell you what, John, I'm impressed there. Speaks Spanish as well. I have my prompters. <laughs> <laughs> Struggle with English. <laughs> I think the pace is actually suiting Frampton. To now he's just being he's, he's boxing in the comfort zone at distance there just watching Garcia come forward he can read the attacks he's, he's picking his shots well Garcia I think he needs a tempo change here he's got to up the gears a little bit and probably put Frampton under a little bit more pressure but at this pace this is Frampton no problem at all for him first time Frampton's been here since February 2015 Chris Avalos on that occasion that was a defense of his IBF super bantamweight title oh good punch Great right hand from Frampton. Super shot that was. Well picked, wasn't it? Well, in true Mexican style, Garcia took it well. And Tough kid. Came back with a little right hand of his own in that exchange, Garcia. He is very tough, Garcia. Yeah. Would be an achievement if Frampton could stop him. Nobody else has managed it. And again, we may see Frampton just switch downstairs to the body and try and target the body because Garcia does look tough he took, he's taken a couple of good right hands so maybe a couple of good body shots that left up to the body especially from Frampton yeah. could do the trick no more than really blink Garcia no, has he? he's not, not, been, not been affected seemingly at all by those two pretty sharp right hands from Frampton Garcia looks physically bigger, doesn't he? He has actually been fighting at Super Bantam this year. He seems a bit... big fella. Won three of his last four. The one defeat was avenged. Pretty basic style, though, John. Very flat-footed. Looks strong coming forward. He's not, he's not very mobile. He's not really got Frampton in any sort of real problem as yet. And like I say, a little bit one pace for me. Garcia, so he's, he's got to change it a little bit. Again, Frampton working at his own pace. Letting the punches go again, Frampton. Most of those taken on the gloves by Garcia. Limescale could stop things from working like they used to. And although you can't see it, it's the same with your washing machine. During each wash, Limescale builds up in your machine, and the whole thing doesn't work like it used to. My advice, Calgon 2-in-1 in every wash. It helps protect your machine from Limescale build-up, and that means a better performing machine. Washing machines with longer with Calgon. 
As the two brand ambassadors at Leo Vegas were chuffed to announce 20 free spins when you sign up today, with no deposit needed. Yeah, don't need to load up, don't need to load up at all. The shots blow, nice and good. Well, the Irish running car Frampton going well so far. Rich has got it three rounds out of three. Yeah, some good stuff again from Frampton there. That was a, the best right hand that he's thrown in the contest so far. Bang on the button, good shots. Got caught with a little left up there, though. So it was a, it was a closer round, but I still think that Frampton got it. Ten round of this one. As we move into the fourth. Saul Alvarez, you see at ringside alongside Frank Warren, hoping that his Mexican countrymen can produce something spectacular here. I wonder if the little whisper of uh, one Billy Joe Saunders might come his way. It's a good body shot from Garcia. Well, that was better from Garcia. Stepped inside and landed a clubbing left hook. Just when I thought he should be kicking his feet up, he lands a, a good left hook to the body, but there, Franton then. He's come back there with a nice left hook to the head. Garcia himself, he's having some success in this round, Garcia. Franton choosing to plant his feet and trade. And that brings Garcia back in, doesn't it? See the movement now from Frampton on the outside, just having a look. That poses more problems. This is the best Garcia, spell that but Garcia's yeah. had. But as soon as he holds his feet, look, I'm on them ropes, that's where he shouldn't be. Garcia will, will prefer that type of contest. Good right hand from Garcia. And that tested Frampton. Physically very strong, doesn't he, Richie? Yeah, he's a strong kid, isn't he? He's more basic and straightforward, Garcia. Straight shots, flat feet, keeps coming forward. There's no tempo change from him, it's all one pace, but nevertheless, strong on that front foot. But the quality and, and the eye-catching work comes from Carl Frampton. Frampton's been on the receiving end for much of this fourth round. Yeah, this is a good round for Garcia now. And again, Frampton's got to get off the ropes, John. That's more like it. Flurry of eye-catching punches as he worked away off the ropes. But is it an eye-catching spurt a little bit too late after it's an early dominance in this round from Garcia. When Sam came down with a burning fever, I gave him Nurofen for children, which lasts longer than paracetamol, up to eight hours, so he could get a full night's sleep. Nurofen for children, longer lasting fever relief than paracetamol. To provide the right dose of pain relief for seven to 12 year olds, Try Neurofen for children's soft chews. Mouth ulcer? Bongella relieves pain in just three minutes and reduces inflammation. Bongella, nothing stronger for mouth ulcers. Garcia being told in this corner here in Belfast that he's got to be quick, he's got to be quicker. They know that Frampton's ahead, but he had a good round that last round. Did he win it? Yeah, I thought he did enough to win the round here, Garcia. Keeps um, Frampton on the rope. Sometimes you make the wrong choices in a round, and I thought this was a wrong choice for, for Frampton just to stand there, and Garcia definitely had some success. So into the fifth round, Garcia maybe getting a foothold in this battle at last. Three English judges watching over this one, Steve Gray, Dave Paris and Phil Edwards. Scottish referee, Victor Lochran. Oh, there's 
that shot again. You see, there's the jab to the body, keeps going in, and then he switches that right hand over the top. Well worked, well planned. He's done that in the gym with Jamie Moore, no question. Good stuff from Frampton. Good start to the round from Frampton, who's now up on his toes. Caught by left hand, though. What a very good, solid, straight left riposte. When Frampton keeps his distance against Garcia, I think he has more success. He can see the attacks coming. Garcia is very slow on his feet, easily to predict. Frampton was a massive favourite to win this fight, of course. But the manner of victory, the popular prediction was that he win it on points. Still, Garcia tries to follow him, tries to put him under pressure. But just not landing enough at this stage. A couple of good body shots have gone in from Garcia in this round. Frampton's responded well. How fresh and sharp do you think Carl's looked? Bearing in mind that he had the problems during the summer making the weight and coming back after the time away. I think he's looked okay. I think he's boxed very I think intelligently those first couple of rounds and his tactics on the outside, just occasionally when he holds his feet, he really brings Garcia into it. So for me, he's got to keep that gap, that distance, and just pick his shots. He's in against a dangerous man, and he's easily to predict though, the way he's coming forward. Garcia. That's a solid right hand from Garcia on an uppercut. Frampton felt the weight of them and wants to just tie his man up for a little while. Well, you can have all your rounds in the gym, all the sparring, all the practice, all the work, the competitive action here. Yeah. And these are valuable rounds. And there's a little cut on Frampton's right eye, side of the eye, there was just a little bit of blood. You can just see it now, just trickling down. <laughs> Garcia will be heartened by that, whether it's been done by a punch or heads, not sure, suspect it might have been a punch. And there goes the end of the fifth round. Carrie Case, long time associated with Ricky Hassan. He's the man doing the cuts. But the only thing you do wrong on patches playing to his tune. Don't play to his tune. Yeah. You have to sit there because it's easy from the outside. Yeah? Yeah. He, he, has, still, he has no option but to try and walk down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. There's no option but to keep walking down and walking into the shots that push the fight. Once you hold your feet... A little bit more success here for Garcia. Just front and then just hold his feet, hold his feet again. It's a close round. Let's have a look. I think this might be where he gets cut. There. Yeah, a little trickle yeah, of blood, look. Yep. Not a major problem, that's how Richie's got it at the moment. Halfway stages of the fight. But it's a test for Frampton, and Garcia will still believe. What did you make of Jamie Moore's advice between rounds there? I think I heard Jamie say about keeping uh, boxing at distance, and I think that's, that's, well, that's the way he started off, wasn't it? So that's obviously the tactics, and I think it's been working well. It's just occasionally, you know, it's, it's difficult to keep Garcia at bay all the time. It's just that you've got... When he gets you on the ropes, that's when you've got to move again, John, and it is difficult now because Garcia is just hunting him down. What? What he's got to do now, Frampton, is occasionally counter-attacks or beat him to the punch and just keep him off balance, just occasionally, as well as countering on that back foot. Counter-attacking is different. It's stepping inside, beating him to the shot and keeping him off balance. That was just an occasion there. In and out there. And, of course, he's got that time away from the ring, Frampton, hasn't he? He's been out for, well, since January. Here we are in November, and this is good work for Garcia here, and Frampton's under pressure, taking some heavy shots there. Yeah, 
comes out of it with a good left hook, but again, ch chose the wrong tactics there to stand and trade. He doesn't want to be doing that. But he might be getting tired, Carl Frampton. And he's had that time out of the ring. How yeah, much of well, a fact is that? I said that right at the very start. That was one of the problems I had tonight. Is he's been out for a long time. Is he? Is he? In against a kid who's never been stopped, who's fairly strong. I knew he was going to test. I spoke to Bunty about it earlier. We knew this was going to be a test for, for Frampton tonight. Well, he's finding it pretty hard going here in the sixth round and doesn't look like the 100 to 1 on favourite that was being quoted somewhere. He's unbackable, Frampton. He's got the quality and the eye catching work, and technically he's better. That's, that's good. good. That's good. Yeah, that's much. But you've got to have the engine with it, John. It's crucial. You've got to have that engine. Garcia, workman like, strong, keeps on coming. Bit of a look as well. Looking for power shots, yeah. isn't he, Frampton? And is he coming out second best in this oh, round? Yeah. That looked a good better shot there from Garcia. Good shot, Frampton. Just bounces off Garcia, though. No discernible effect. Hard round. Hard round indeed. This is where Garcia was having real success. Yeah, some good work here from Garcia. Frampton just choosing to stay on them ropes. Wrong choice, gets caught. Good right hand over the top, then switches the, these left hooks going in as well. Basic punches from Garcia. And Frampton came out with the nice left hook. But when he's moving, much better. Brings him onto that right hand. That was a good shot from Carl Frampton. When you hold your feet, try and trade with him. That's when he has his success. Yeah. Won that yeah. round. You had a week success, but I won that round, didn't I? Yeah, you won the round. You just won it. Victor Longer is saying that the right eye was caused by a clash of heads, the injury there. The left eye by a punch. That's what he told the corner. And mercifully told us as well. As we move now into round seven. Had you, had you backed Garcia, it would have been a 16 to one shot. This is made at 10 rounds. It's a non-championship fight, 12 rounds, the normal championship distance. Same reason that they made it at nine stone one rather than nine stones, which would be the featherweight championship uh, championship stipulation. Frampton, this an exercise in sharpening and getting rid of ring rust, but he's finding it pretty tough encounter out there at the moment, and you've got it four two in his favour at the moment. Yeah, I think he's ahead, Carl Frampton, with Garcia. He's coming back into it all the time, isn't he? Very strong. Carl just showing the signs of that ring rust. And if he's being tight at the weight, Carl Frampton, we're getting into the stage of the fight where that could be a factor. That's what he needs to get back to doing, staying at distance and just controlling the tempo and the pace of the contest, Carl Frampton. See, that's better, because he's giving himself a little bit of room and time. Then he's got to move again. Proud trying to rouse the Belfast hero to greater endeavours. Oh, caught by the left hand, but it's a slip. Oh, he's given it. He's given it as a knockdown. Well, I'm surprised that. I thought that was a He was clear on the left hand, but he's given it as a knockdown. Now we've got a fight on. Yeah, very surprised there. Off balance. But that's going to spur Garcia on now. How does Frampton respond to that? Looking for this big right hand, Carl Frampton, is he? You can just see him 
Just trying to bring him on to that shot. He's waiting there, it was there. But Garcia on that front foot now. Very confident indeed, Garcia. Frampton has got up off the canvas before, but dropped a couple of times a couple of years ago when he was defending his title over in Texas. But he has got a big task now. He's coming back hard, and the crowd trying to roar him on. Well, that is a moment of discussion, maybe of controversy. Frampton didn't think it was a knockdown, but the referee, the man in the ring, Victor Lochran, said knockdown, it most certainly was. Let's have a look at the knockdown here then, John. Oh, so oh, I tell you, what, I'm really surprised he's given well, up. His left, his left look. leg's gone here. Watch his left leg there. I mean, it wasn't a punch that connected. If you, if you look at the left hook, let's have a look at the left hook again. His left leg clearly went. Maybe on moisture in the ring. That's a 10 8 round. We're level. Well, that last round could be a real game changer. The knockdown puts Frampton under pressure. He puts him under pressure now, because if that's a 10 8 round to Garcia, then, then that does make it really, really close. He needs the rest of it now, Frampton. Otherwise, it could all be going wrong. And again, Frampton slipping on the ring, on the ring surface. That was almost exactly the spot where he went down. Frampton again choosing to stand and trade. Garcia showing his physical strength, only too happy to engage in that sort of conflict, but that's a good right hand from Frampton. Yeah, it was a cracking right to the cut as well, went in from Frampton. So a change in tack there from Frampton, just stand, deciding to stand and trade. Oh, belting shot. But Garcia won't be moved, will he? He's got such a good chin. Yeah, tremendous chin. You don't meet many Mexicans that haven't, though, John. I asked him who his boxing hero was during the week. And he said, Marco Antonio Barrera. Absolutely. Not a bad choice. Well, physically, he looks more like Eric Morales. The chance again, go up for Carl Frampton. He's flat-footed, there's not a lot of movement from Frampton now. That's better. better that's sweet, sweet yeah. defensive work. Yeah, again, from distance, picking his shots. It's just that Garcia is not giving him any time at all to recover, is he? Well, he turns his back on Garcia momentarily there. Something you're not supposed to do. And he's looking as though he's gassing a little bit as well, Carl Frampton. Is he struggling with the pace here? Hasn't finished since January, remember. And that, for me, was always going to be a problem tonight. Well, he's had to dig in there, Carl Frampton. Has he done enough to win the round? Maybe.
So. Good right up we've got there, John, and then he whips that right hand over, doesn't he? Just stands and trades. This was at the start of the round, he had some success here with Frampton. There's that right hand, that was the best shot of the round from Frampton. Belting shot. Good one-two from distance. But Garcia also had some success in this round as well. Sal Alvarez watching on. Shared that fight with Gennady Golovkin not so long back and whispers that he might be taking a look at the WBO yeah, title so being close your eye. disputed close your eye. by Billy Joe Saunders and David Lemieux coming up on the 16th of December. That's how Rich has got it, mighty close. Two rounds remaining, Frampton might need them both. The knockdown given in the seventh round has such an important bearing on matters now. Well, I think you've got to give it 10-8, haven't you? Well, to, to Garcia, that's what most people will do. I would think so. It doesn't automatically have to be the case, no. But it normally is. Good start from Garcia. Setting the pace in the early stages of this ninth. And he slips again. Well, no knockdown this time. He's having real problems, whether it's with the canvas of the ring or with his footwear, I'm not too sure. Garcia there, just trying to switch downstairs with the right hand, but gets caught with a lovely left up there from Frampton. So now he's starting to box better on the outside, waiting, counter-punching. Sal Alvarez roaring his fellow countrymen on, gesticulating and bellowing encouragement. Oh, good shots! Great right hand from Garcia and the uppercut. Frampton momentarily in trouble. Yeah, Frampton just gets caught on those ropes again, doesn't he? Holds the feet. Now he has to battle back in the remaining seconds of this round. Would be a monumental upset if Garcia were to win this fight. And it would throw all the plans of the open-air fight at Windsor Park and world title unification shots, world title challenges in 2018 into disarray. He needs to finish this fight strongly, Carl Frampton. Started so brightly, Carl Franks, in the first two or three rounds. Hey, let it go, let it go, guys. But it has started to go wrong. Good body shots again from Garcia. Left hands, two thudding left hands, and the right hey, uppercut. Well, a few people might have switched on tonight, expecting a cakewalk for Carl Frampton. It has been anything but. What a round. Richie can't split him. Tough round to score, John, that was. Suck it up. All right. Last round. Last round. Last round. Good round. OK. Well, this is the slip. Yeah, I mean, he's punching himself there, so it's just a slip, isn't it, that? But there... He just stays on the ropes for too long here, gets caught with a lovely right uppercut. Then he starts to box his way out of those, that position. There, just stays on the ropes, doesn't he? A little bit too long, and here's the uppercut there, he's there through the middle. He was 100 to 1 on when the fight started, Carl Frampton. At this stage, I'm told in the running exchange, he's now 5 to 1 on. And there'll be a few people watching who might think that this 10th oh, round is going to be a pretty severe examination for Carl Frampton, and Richie has it by just one point. The crowd trying to make their effect.
a vital three minutes this for the career of Carl Frampton. Just heard his corner shouting out, box, box. The one to box at range. And they're telling him as well to suck it up, will they? They yeah. know that he's struggling, struggling with the pace of this. How weight-drained is he feeling? How much is the stamina still there for him? I think it's the main fact, John, he's been out since January. It's a long, long time to, not to be boxing. And coming up against a real strong kid in Garcia. Well, Garcia said he was not coming here as a bit part actor in the great Carl Frampton's show, and he has proved that is very much the case. I think Garcia, he, he smells victory, doesn't he? But Frampton give it credit. This is better from Frampton now. All around, people are standing up, cheering on both fighters. Garcia senses the upset. Frampton producing a grandstand finish. And the man who has been down, remember, in the seventh round. He says it wasn't a fair knockdown. He needs this last round. Garcia still looking to throw huge punches. But they're swinging hooks. And the straighter punches of Frampton are landing more. Yeah, he just landed the better shots here, this Carl Frampton. Garcia just keeps coming forward. Well, the quality shots are from Frampton, John. He may be winning this last round, and it might be absolutely key. It could all be on the last round, the way this has gone. He's had to really dig in, Carl Frampton. Yeah, he has. And he's done well in this last round. Hard, hard fight it turned out to be. As exercises to get rid of a bit of ring rust go, that was a tough one. They don't come much easier than that, do they, in, in terms of the intensity of that contest of coming back from all those months out you've been out of the ring. That is so, so difficult. He won that last round, didn't he? Yeah, I thought he won the last round. I thought he landed the, best, the better shots. Which on your card has got him home by a couple of points or so. Of points. Could be one in it, could be two in it. But he found it a hard night, didn't he? He knows he's been in a fight. This is what it all comes down to. Tallying up the scores of the three judges. And the longer it waits, the more you think it's going to be close. But we've got it the way of Frampton. You'll have your own ideas watching at home, no doubt. Canelo in the ring, congratulating Frampton, which might suggest that he thinks that he's done enough. He wants a photo with him. That's one for the scrapbook, <laughs> Sal. Tremendous, tremendous contest. What an effort from Garcia. Oh, yeah, you know, you've got to give him great credit. Kept coming all every round. Took some big shots. I thought the, the tactics for Frampton early on was very, very good, but he tired. And for me, he just chose the wrong tactics when he was standing on the ropes occasionally. From, from the sixth round onwards, he was struggling with the pace. Yeah, I with thought. the pace, yeah. He had the quality, but you've got to have the engine. And like I say, I think it's, be, it's because he's been out since January. That's been the main problem here. Well, he finished strongly, didn't he? And he thinks that he's done enough, thanking the crowd for that. Partisan, vociferous support. I think that very shortly we can get the result. The referee will draw the two fighters together in the middle of the ring. And applause for both men, well justified. Garcia 
touring the ring and waving to the fans as much as to say I might not be about to get the verdict but I have made it a fight and I want that to be recognised. Well, we can now go into the ring and find out what the result is. Here's Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Steve Gray scores it 98 to 93. Judge Phil Edwards scores it 97 to 93. And Judge Dave Paris scores it 96 to 93. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. From Belfast, Northern Ireland, Carl the Jackal Frampton! Disappointment for Garcia. Frampton gets the verdict by margins of three points, four and points. Ladies and gentlemen, and here in wide, the ring, former three time two division world champion, but it was a tough Saul night. Connell